Hey there guys, it's Ange at Homestead Design. So I wanted to show you how I decorate my bedroom for different seasons. And this is something that um, people kind of comment on, when people who, the, the few people who know that I decorate our bedroom um, in a couple of different ways for different seasons always comment on that. And it seems like a really frivolous thing, but the way I do it is very simple. And I just really enjoy having two different looks in our bedroom. And so I thought I would just show you that quickly, how um, how I'm able to do that, um, make it budget friendly, have it be a really simple way to add just a little bit of seasonal sprucing up to my bedroom. Um, and so it's Memorial Day weekend and I still have not put on our spring and summer um, look for our bedroom just because it's still been cold at night and I want our warmer bedding. So. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to switch it over so I will show you. So I'm going to just show you first what I have now. So this is still our fall and winter look. Um, so our bedroom walls are light green. It's a color called Garden Shed from Home Depot. Um, it's a very, very pale green and I love it. It's For me, it acts kind of like a neutral. Um, so our walls are that green and actually my carpet is the same color. Um, and then what I do here is I have... Um, I have an old chenille bedspread. It's just cream color. Um, our furniture is cream color. Everything is pretty neutral. And for fall and winter, I like to have some brown and red accents in here. I always thought I wanted to have like a Christmas bedding. You know, that seems so cute when people do that. I never ended up doing that, but what I had was this old comforter. Um, this was a comforter that I actually used fully on our bed. Um, and that works well with the green too, but I like the fresh look of the cream color bedding. So I just keep this folded at the end of our bed like this. And I fold it in that kind of an S shape so that when I want to use this at night, all I have to do is pull it up like this. And it's really easy. It's not a matter of unfolding or anything. Um, and so that's what I do for winter is I just keep that there. So I have kind of my reds and browns and warmer colors. And then I have lots of throw pillows that I add to have color. And so our regular pillowcases that we sleep on are neutral colors, so they stay back there. And then what I did was get some different pillow shams. These are actually from thrift stores. So one side is this. I thought in the store that this was what I would use, but it ended up kind of fighting with this um, comforter. So I didn't use that. I flip it over and I use the back side, which is just a brown plaid. It has the opening down the middle, but the way I have my pillows on my bed, you can't see it. So I just use it like that, just to add some texture. And then I have one, I have a third pillow sham. <laughs> and this one actually came from my son's bedroom set. This is what his comforter looks like. And he doesn't use pillow shams because he's not fancy like that. So I borrowed his pillow sham and use that to add another little extra layer. Um, then I top it off here with my two little houndstooth pillows and then one more pillow here. So this one is, this is an old sweater and I just cut off the sleeves, sewed it straight across and across the bottom. I covered an old pillow that I didn't like and I just sewed it right in there so this doesn't come off. Um, so that is our winter look and then the curtains are just a piece of burlap. I did sew seams across the sides and the top. You could do a similar idea just with buying a burlap runner or something. Um, it would probably be the same width that you would want for a valance. And then um, I use the little clips, hanging clips for my curtains so that you don't have to have rod pockets sewn in. So that's what I use for my curtains. So now I'll show you how I'm going to switch things up just a little bit to freshen the look up for spring. So first I'm going to get rid of this. I just fold this up and I have a, a spot high up in my closet where I will put this. Actually, I'll probably hang this out on the clothesline um, just to freshen it up. But then I'll just stick this up in the top of my closet and that'll go away. So my summer colors, I like to add blues and greens. So this is a quilt. Um, I think my mom gave me this. This was just an extra quilt that she had. Um, the design of the quilt isn't anything that I was in love with or anything, but I just wanted some color. So again, I'm just going to keep my cream color. Oh, I want to make sure my connection stayed. Okay. Um, 
I like the neutral bedspread because it allows me to play with color. You could do a similar idea. I'm going to show you. Let me get rid of these. If you have just a blanket underneath, like I do, that's just a, a white blanket, you could do the same look and then just keep your comforter at the bottom folded up across the foot of your bed to kind of have that fresh, fresher look if that's what you wanted to do. So I keep, um, I keep this on there year round and then I will just add color to it. So I'll add my light blue and green colored quilt to the foot of the bed like that. Then um, the pillow shams I'll switch. So I'll take these off. The other ones are just still inside here. These are more pillow shams that I just got at a thrift store. Always check those stores out, guys, because people get rid of stuff all the time. These ones are in kind of rough shape, so I should update those. But these are just some plain cream-colored shams, kind of with a doily effect. I like that look. And it's getting, that one's getting a little rough. And I'll do the same thing here. Okay, so then those are neutral. And then I will probably keep my tan houndstooth ones. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with this one. So what I did... For, I'll show you my curtains too because what I did was get tablecloths and that's what I, I use for my um, summer curtains as well as some of my other accents for my bed. So the material, this is what the material looks like from the tablecloths that I made into curtains. Um, I keep it all rolled up in my closet. This is all my curtains rolled up so then they don't get folds and I don't have to iron them when I put them back up for the spring. So I just picked out kind of a bright, fun fabric that it was really summery. Um, tablecloths are such a great way to buy a lot of fabric for cheaper than it would cost in the fabric store. Um, they're nice, heavy weight for hanging nicely. And I've, I've found much better deals um, buying a tablecloth maybe for $10, um, way cheaper than it would cost to buy that much fabric in the fabric store. So that's a really handy tip. I've done that a few different places in my house using the tablecloths. So then, those were from Target several years ago. So then what I did was get two little cloth napkins that went along with the, with the tablecloths. So I did two cloth napkins and I sewed it, sewed them together on three sides. And then one side is open. I can find it. There we go. So one side is open. So my winter sweater pillow is just going to go right inside here. I'm going to cover it for the summer. I didn't sew the third side and I could have maybe put velcro or a button or something. I just wanted to keep it really simple. So that fits right in there. So that's just two cloth napkins sewn to do that. So it's open on the bottom. I could probably just sit it on my bed like that and it wouldn't bother anything. Um, but when I bought those tablecloths in the package, they happened to be wrapped in a little, just this little cloth thing with a button. That's how they came. And so I just connected those together and I use it on my pillow. That was just one of those kind of fluke type finds um, that the tablecloths happened to have that little extra piece and I couldn't bear to throw it. I knew I would find a use for it somewhere. So then that kind of closes up that bottom edge, keeps it together, and it makes um, a cute little throw pillow. So now my winter sweater pillow is covered with my spring summer fabric. Okay, and one other pillow I have here is a placemat. This is a placemat that went with that set. So placemats are often made out of two layers. Oh, no, low connection. Sorry, I hope my connection is holding out, guys. Um, so what I did for this on the placemat 
um, the back side, like I said, a placemat is two layers of fabric. I just took pinking shears and slit across and across, and I put an ugly old pillow inside here. And I don't even do anything with the back of this one because I'm the one that makes my bed. Nobody's going to mess with it. It's fine. So then that's one more little accent pillow. Okay, and now I'll show you what I do with my curtains. So then when I take this out of my closet, I just unroll. I rolled it around a box of a fruit snack thing so it stayed, <laughs> so it didn't get uh, any creases. So for my um, curtains, I just took the tablecloth and I cut it into a few panels because I have um, two sets of these windows in my room and then another one on the other side. So I have a lot of windows. Um, so I'll show you, let's see if I'm coordinated enough to go over here and put this up while you watch, okay? This is my whole different look for my windows for summer. So hang on. Okay, so you can kind of see how that just changes up the look. It's kind of sticking out on the bottom. I like for summer to have the panel idea. I love it. I have my windows open a lot and I love the, the curtains blow in the breeze and they're just, it's just kind of a fun, different look. Um, so you can kind of see how I changed up the color scheme. So I still have my green neutrals. My wall decor didn't change. Um, that would be easy to change if you if I wanted, but I didn't. Um, and then I just did the the blues and greens. Um, one other quick touch I could do. Um, I like to use old books in decorating a lot, and I've I've just picked these up at garage sales. They're often free. Um, I just like how they look, and I have just a wide variety of colors, and I use those all. Add a little more blue and green. So that's kind of about it. That's my really quick way of adding um, a little look, um, just kind of to change it up for the seasons. It's not anything expensive. Um, another really fun thing you could do is if you've been in Walmart or Shop in the summertime, they have a lot of throw pillows, bright colored patio. Um, these at Walmart right now are $5. And then at the end of the season, um, I've picked these up for $2. I will use them either to recover or you can use these just to add a fun pop of color around your house somewhere else. If you had, maybe if you had neutral bedding and you wanted to just add a little something fun, you can see throw pillows are a pretty easy, simple way to um, do that. Um, it's just kind of a fun thing. I know a lot of people don't always prioritize decorating your bedroom. Um, it, it, sometimes it's the last thing you think about when you're decorating your house just because you focus more on the common areas and that's understandable um, but I would encourage you to do a little bit do a little something for yourself it's really nice um, I enjoy making my bed every morning just because I like putting my pillows on there and I I just enjoy having um, a room that looks pretty and even though <laughs> you can't see that side's full of laundry baskets <laughs> I can have my little area that just looks nice so it's kind of a fun thing to treat yourself to um, but hopefully those give you some ideas, some little things that you could try, um, ways to incorporate just some simple decor and um, easy, um, not a lot of sewing required. Um, you could do no sewing if you wanted with a lot of these ideas. You can do a lot of it with uh, thrift store things, hand-me-down things, um, swapping something out with somebody if someone else has got a comforter that they're kind of tired of they're just they're a fun accent at the foot of your bed so hopefully um, that gives you some ideas let me know in the comments are you someone who likes to decorate your bedroom or are you one who 
the bedroom is kind of an afterthought and it's the place you sleep but you don't really think about the decor. I'd love to know um, how that is for you. And so if you have other ideas of fun ways that you've added some personality to your bedroom to make it a place that you really enjoy, I'd love for you to share those ideas too. So have a great night and an awesome weekend guys. See you later.